In the last 45 days or so, I have presented programs and lectures to a wide variety of people. Uh, I started off uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, talking to some folks from Apple. Uh, then I went up and uh, spoke to a company that makes cement pavers, great company. Uh, swung by and talked to the nice folks at Tervis Tumblers who make the awesome plastic cups about some of the stuff they're doing on their leadership development program. Uh, I was at the Mayo Clinic delivering a leadership development program for them. And I gave a couple of lectures for students at the University of Florida. Uh, and in all of this, I kept having people come up to me and say, John, what's your best advice to really solidify my career right now or put myself in a position to get a better job or move companies or, you know, how do I make sure that I'm as safe as I possibly can be in this economy? And I gave this a lot of thought. Really, the idea that came to me is you need to embrace the idea, the philosophy of personal Kaizen, of personal continuous incremental improvement. How can you get 1% better every day? How can you get a little bit sharper, smarter, faster? How can you get some knowledge that's more valuable in the marketplace, increase your network, help some more people every single day? So let me give you a few specific ideas. Uh, the first one is, is you got to dedicate yourself to lifelong learning. Now, I know a lot of you don't like to read. But, uh, but if you can read and you want to read, uh, I highly recommend that you get in the habit of reading a minimum, a minimum of one business book a month. One business or self-help or a career type book per month. If you were to read one book a month, 12 books a year for self-improvement or career improvement, you'd be in the top 1% in the entire world. That's right, 12 books a year puts you in the top 1% on the face of the earth for self-learning and self-knowledge. Now, if you don't like to read, you don't enjoy, you have a hard time focusing, and a lot of people do, then listen to it on audio, you know? Um, sign up for audio tech uh, executive summaries or audible.com or something like that. Or go to iTunes University, iTunes U, um, you know, through, uh, I, through Apple. There are dozens and dozens of books, uh, audio books there, podcasts, uh, and through iTunes University, you can get lectures from some of the top colleges in the world for free, all of them, and download them to your smartphone, put them on your computer, listen to them in the car, listen to them at the house, make the time to sit and get all that. Now, if you don't even like, you know, if you get bored just listening to the audio, then go to TED.com, T-E-D.com. If you haven't seen a TED video, where the heck have you been? You've been living under a rock? TED videos are awesome. There's also Big Think. Um, that's another great website that's got some great videos. Um, there's a great one called Brain Pickings, which doesn't have videos per se. It has, actually has some videos in there, but here's the idea. Go to YouTube. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube for self-improvement, for business improvement. So you've got to get in the habit of reading, listening to audiobooks, watching videos every week, every week, as much as you can. Every time you've got some downtime, fill it with quality information. Remember, I've said it a zillion times, you become what you focus on and like the people you spend time with. Which brings me to number two, is form a mastermind group. Join an association. Surround yourself with a group of bright, sharp, smart, talented people that are invested in your success, that want to see you successful, that want to see you do better, be, be more successful, achieve more, uh, have a stable career. So get a huge network of people, as many as you can get, that, that you help them and they help you. And then also, go to them often and ask for help. If you get this great network of bright, sharp, smart, talented people who really, you know, key people that can help you a lot, you'd be foolish not to pick up the phone or send them an email often and say, got any ideas on this? Got any suggestions? Read a good book lately? Listen to a good audio book lately? Hey, seen any good videos on TED lately? Which brings me to the third thing is, when you do read something really good, you find a great book, you hear a great audio, send it out to everyone in your network. Be a source of, of inspiration. Be a source of knowledge. Be a source that's constantly sending out good things to read, good things to listen to, good things to watch, so that every time someone opens up an email from you, they go, wow, another great piece of information, a cool blog to read, a neat article, a white paper, some research. This is great. That person always sends me valuable stuff. Uh, here's another great one. Get in the habit of sending at least one referral a week. Pick somebody in your community that does a great job. Your dry cleaner, uh, the person who works on your car, uh, maybe the person who you know, mows your lawn, um, the professional speaker you know, I don't know. But in all seriousness, get in the habit of recommending really great business people to other businesses. Get on your email, get on your blog, get on your Facebook and let people know, I got great service here, or I really think this person does a great job, or I read this book and I loved it. Become good at that because here's what's going to happen. If you just give, 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 and keep referring and helping people, the law of reciprocity sort of says that they're going to want to help you back. 
So if they have a chance, they're going to refer you. They're going to suggest you know, you, that you're really good at something. Um, the other idea, there's a couple more here, is it's a total package. So yeah, you've got to work on your brain and your knowledge, but you also got to work on your health. You know, you got to make sure that you're in the best shape you can be. Um, this, was a, this is always a challenging one for me. Um, you've probably seen through the videos here that I've dropped about 50 to 60 pounds in the last six or seven months, and I'm continuing on that because I realized I wasn't doing a good enough job at health. So I've been working on that and trying to fix it myself. You need to too. Health is critical. People, the people judge you by that. They look at it and say, is this person bright, sharp, smart, and talented? Are they valuable? And are they vibrant? Are they healthy? Are they strong? Um, another key idea in there is become excellent at handling stress. You know, read some books on that. Do some meditation. Uh, listen to nice music. Whatever it is for you that's a healthy way to reduce stress, become great at that because people don't like to be around stressed out people. It gives them stress. I mean, I know that I don't like to be around stressed out people, so I want to be around people that handle stress well, that actually um, thrive on stri stress, that thrive on change, that thrive on the chaos, and know that chaos, change, difficulties, those are all opportunities to show your value, to be better in the marketplace. Which brings me to the last thing, which is I believe all of this, all of this is underlined on our foundation of building it on your values and your own personal business philosophy, your own personal career philosophy. Um, what are the things that you value above everything else, the things that you want to be known for? You know, what are the four or five core values that you believe represent the person you are, who you are, who, what you want to do, and the legacy you want to leave? And then create a personal philosophy around that or a personal business philosophy that says, this is the way I interact in the marketplace. This is the kind of person I am. This is the way I do business. I'll give you a quick example. My per personal business philosophy, which I stole from Zig Ziglar with his permission, is if you just help enough other people get what they need, you'll get everything you need. I based my entire business philosophy on adding value, helping people, sharing ideas, which is exactly what I tried to do in this video for you. So I hope you found that list helpful. Read, be a lifelong learner, dedicate yourself to personal Kaizen, pass along the great ideas, listen to audiobooks, watch videos, pass those along too. When you run across a great blog, maybe like this one, send it on to some people, which means have a huge network of people that want to see you succeed and then refer ideas, information, businesses to them often. In addition to all that, you need to focus on your health. You need to be, have a positive can-do attitude, be a person who handles stress well that people want to be around. And then last but not least, all of this is built on your core values and your personal philosophy of success. I hope you found that very helpful and that you put some action behind that and implement my ideas right away. Thanks so much. Have a super day. I look forward to talking to you soon.